Hey guys, Ashley here with Sully. And we are unboxing, I'm so excited for these, the um, new MLB Pop mascots. Um, we did a, a small series of them a couple of years ago, and now we have expanded the line, done a couple of uh, updates to a few that we've already done, and uh, I'm super excited. These all have to uh, get on my desk as soon as we're done with the unboxing, and uh, I'm ready. I brought the square card reader, so we can go ahead and okay. charge you for this. Sounds good. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm I'm a Mariners fan, so I'm obviously partial to the moose, but I have a appreciation for all mascots everywhere because they are fantastic. And I notice, uh, look who happens to be number one. That's right. I give you the honors. Oh, yes. yes. Okay, so he is wearing the Teal Friday jerseys. They only wear on Fridays which I'm really excited for. I know Cameron was really excited for this too, but uh, as you can see the moose there, he has his glowing locks, just flowing in the breeze. And uh, <laughs> you can see the little Mariners logo on the uh, jersey there, but uh, he's great. I'm super impressed that he can do a backflip. Every game he does a backflip. In the costume. In the costume. Uh, yeah, they start the game, wow. he comes out in like a ATV and like pumps up the crowd and then does a bunch of backflips and stuff. That's impressive. So it is. That's a lot of extra yeah. weight. For sure. Number two, Mr. Met of the New York Mets. And honestly, we need Mrs. Met as well. Is there a Mrs. Met? There is. Oh. So hopefully this means more mascots to come. I hope we break into NHL and NBA eventually, but uh, this is a good start. That amazing sculpt and stance right? on Mr. Met. I know. He's just a baseball. Oh, he has a giant baseball head. I'm so excited for all of these. And, for you? Uh, Mr. What is this? Mr. Redlegs. All right, cool. Another baseball guy. I didn't know the names of some of these. I'll be I honest. I don't either, to be honest. I just know that they're cool, and I don't know a lot of the history of some of these teams. But uh, he is also a big baseball head. Has the uh, this nice mustache going. An old school baseball hat, which they uh, break out every once in a while. A large mustache. A large mustache. And I, I worked this out, so this worked out perfectly there for my go. home team, the Houston Astros. I used to be a diehard fan. We've got Orbit. Uh, I, I personally think one of the best mascots he's, he's in all there. of MLB. He has a big, like, belly, so he's always... He and I relate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. He's got, look at the little antenna awesome. with the baseballs. And we did do that, what, in a blue jersey earlier? So yes. this is a, a repaint. Look the detail on the shoes. You got the little Orbit logo. So here's the Orioles mascot. I don't know his name. I, I would assume they have. He's just listed names. as Orioles mascot. Yeah, but he has a foam finger with the uh, black and orange there, and the nice Orioles colorway. What is that on the back? A tail? Because he's a bird. It's okay. Like a tail, yeah. That's it. Makes sense. There we go. What else do we got? Got the Detroit Tigers paws mascot. He it looks like Tony the Tiger in a lot of ways. I mean, he is a tiger. Look at look at that tail. It's cool. Cool white jersey. I need the them all. Got the helmet on. This, Ooh. I'm not an athletics fan because that's a Mariners rival, but the athletics mascot is amazing. Um, when they do wear their old retro jerseys, I really am a fan of the their elephant. I wonder also how they came the to the, the elephant as their mascot. That's an interesting choice. Right? He's so cool. Look at his hair. He's got big ears. He's excited. How can you not like mascots? Right? It just brings so much joy. Next up we got Slugger with three R's from the Kansas City Royals. Also a really cool sculpt on that. The, the oh, crown yeah. head. The crown is his head. Kind of Bart Simpson-esque in a way, right? right? You know, they got the tail on there as well. Awesome. Sporting the fingers. And then the, the Philly Fanatic. Oh. And when I think mascots, he's one of the first ones that come to mind. Just well, such an Phillies awesome. are one of the older baseball teams, so this has probably been out for he's been out for a while. He has the old school Philly uh, jersey on there. Um, he, he has the like tongue thing that oh, comes man. out. Oh man, that thing creeps fun. me out, and I love it. His hat on backwards, so he's just a cool guy, you know. Yeah. All right, who we got up next? We got uh, TC Bear, Twin Cities Bear, Minnesota Twins. I know we have some fans, some fanatics up in the Minnesota area. So, mm -hmm. oh yeah, he's a happy buddy. Right. Look at him. You got a tiny little tail on the back. <laughs> we have uh, Boston's Wally Green Monster, who is, I would assume, after the Green Monster uh, wall there in Boston. He has, oh, I like his little stance. Back, little back flip hand paw there, I guess you would call that. But, oh, yeah. yeah. He's green, he's mean. 
Got a little trend going down there with the green. Next up, we got Theodore Roosevelt, <laughs> who is the mascot for the He has the to be the newest Nationals. mascot, because the Nationals are the new, you know, a newer team, but. I would not have, if you'd asked me, I couldn't have guessed in a hundred tries that their mascot was Theodore Roosevelt. But look at, <laughs> look at those spectacles. There's not even glasses. That's awesome. He's got shorts on. He does. How very informal. Yeah. And then Bernie Brewer here. Oh. I've seen some great gifts of him online, like going down slides and stuff, but he also has an epic mustache. He goes out there, nice blonde locks. Ready to go. I don't know that I've I ever like seen I like the like kind of people mascots yeah. too, are really cool. I don't know that I've ever seen a blonde mustache quite as uh, huge. Don't you? Look at that. All right, next up, oh, another one of my favorites, the Swinging Friar from the San Diego Padres. Which uh, I don't get that at all. I don't know how that. Padre. Okay, all right. He's got the, uh, yeah, the hair or lack thereof. I, I appreciate that pain. Uh, in the Friar outfit, I love it, holding the go. baseball bat. I always think of him running the races against yeah. fans and stuff. One of my favorite like mascots that they do is not like a traditional mascot, but when they have the big inflatable heads oh. and then they do the, the races, it's yes. hilarious. And then we got the uh, Pirates mascot here. Who just happens to be a, a, a parrot. parrot. His parrot on the back there in a nice Pirates uniform. He doesn't have a traditional baseball bat. It looks more like a... Oh, it's like a batting practice yeah. bat almost. And then the hat on backwards as well. And then last, but certainly not least, to uh, be honest. Billy the Marlin from the... Uh, what are, they, are they the Florida Marlin? Or no, Miami, aren't they? Are they? I, that's, I, yeah. I was unsure. Uh, very unique compared to the others. Look at that side view on Dang. him. Dang, that fin on that guy. Fin game. And his feet flip up a little bit too. They that's, too. That's awesome. That's a nice little detail. Huh? Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, what a lineup. Look at that. Good selection. I know there's more mascots we could definitely make, so you never know. Hopefully we make more, but this is uh, our newest line of pop mascots. I need them all, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mm -hmm. take all these. Watching you. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to the unboxing, guys. Have a good day. Nerdy night. Go Mariners.